Hi everybody, this is Wildside. I'm uh, making a little video here to show you how I mount the heated build platform with glass onto the Mendel uh, Prussia. So as you can see, I've fixed my glass onto the bed with Kapton at the four corners, uh, making sure not to block the holes. Uh, there's various ways that you can attach it to the bed. I use these little wooden standoffs now. Uh, they're drilled through. You get these at Michael's, which uh, is a, a craft store here in the U.S. These are actually simulated thread bobbins in miniature. Uh, but any wooden dowel rod that you can drill a hole in uh, would be fine. I took the heated build platform and I placed it on top of my uh, print bed here and marked out where the corners were so that I would get an idea of where I need to put my standoffs and uh, like I said I taped the glass down now this this glass is uh, picture frame glass it's not typically what I use uh, those of you that have watched my other videos on the on printing with glass uh, know that I use borosilicate glass but I want to do some comparisons um, so I got a picture frame from the uh, local thrift store and ripped it apart and has a nice little pattern to boot so we're going to use that now um, <clears throat> the heated build platform that I use on my machine is held on with magnets basically the same concept I have some standoffs like this uh, the magnets are roughly eight millimeters in diameter so I drilled out the centers of the standoffs eight millimeters and glued the magnets in there uh, drilled some holes in the platform here, 8 millimeters, and glued magnets in there, made sure the polarities matched, and so the, the magnets basically snap into place. With this one, I'm pro probably just going to drill a hole from the bottom and uh, put a screw in there and actually glue the standoffs to the bottom of the heated build platform with some crazy glue, some super glue, cyanoacrylate, uh, whatever you want to call it. So I've got my marks there. Um, put my standoffs on, put a little bit of glue on top of each one, and then lay your heated build platform up there. I'm not actually going to glue it right now. I don't have this thing wired up or anything. It's uh, fresh out of the bag. So just a little demonstration for those of you that are wondering how to get this thing mounted. Um, now, once you've got it mounted there, you've got this open space underneath. Uh, what I recommend uh, that people do to get the most uh, efficiency out of the out of the heated build platform is to fill that space up with corrugated cardboard. Uh, there's about space for three sheets. This would come uh, right off of a cardboard box. Uh, the idea being that uh, if you're running the bed like this, the hot air is basically coming up out of there and being replaced by cold air all the time. So a lot of your heat is going up the sides and not getting onto the glass itself. So you need a way to capture that air and keep it there hot. Um, and a good way to do that is with the cardboard because the, the corrugations in the cardboard hold the air in and make it captive. So once the cardboard stabilizes and is saturated with heat, the heat has nowhere else to go but up into the, into the glass. And so it helps you heat up quickly and sustain higher temperatures on your heated build platform. So that's about the, uh, the gist of it. Um, hope you find this video useful and stay tuned for more videos which are coming. Take care.